Uh, I will share my thoughts. If you will see you, that, that, that what I'm saying is, is very trivial and very obvious to you, just stop me and say that it, this is obvious and we can go further. So, talking about Git. If you want to, to work with Git, we, we identified in my teams during, during the time that it's necessary to understand the basics and the best way how to get them is, is to read the, the, the pro Git book and to read the, the, the first chapters. Getting started, Git basics are for, 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 for the, the, the typical work like you used to, to work in, in subversion and uh, the treasure of, of uh, Git, the, uh, how to work with branches. If, if you remember working with subversion uh, or uh, or CVS, you remember that branching was something very, very difficult. And actually, I never did it before Git. And I started to love it when I, I started to work with Git. So the reading of these three chapters is, is must have. And we always said, any newcomer, read these, these branches on, until then. You are not allowed to, to touch uh, Git. No. Uh, ju just, just uh, this is actually a rule of thumb. If you if you commit uh, your changes, please do it always from graphics, because whenever I saw anybody committing from uh, from a command line, usually these people have absolutely no clue what they are committing. We will we will try it try it today. And uh, yeah, so, so sometimes the, the graphics tools, they are great, but sometimes they, they go into trouble. So whenever you are in trouble and, and the, 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 the graphic, uh, the, the IDE typically is, is uh, confused, go to the command line, write git status, and git status tells you uh, what's going on, what's happening. Sometimes it, it happens if you are in the middle of uh, say rebasing, and then you get some idea. You start writing, and then you want to commit, and you realize that are, you are still in the middle of of uh, rebasing, and that's a huge mess. And uh, the only way how to get out of this is is go to, to command command line, uh, write git status, and, and see what's actually going on, what files are, are in, in which state. And uh, the IDE, I have never seen any IDE which would solve this, this uh, issue. So I suggest this. And one more thing, if you put anything to Git, it's always there. It, it, it's, it's actually very difficult to delete, really delete anything from, from Git. So uh, if you will have trouble, like you, you are playing with, with uh, with uh, branches and suddenly you realize that that you lost some branch because you moved the the the, the, the pointers uh, there exists uh, there exist uh, commands which are not very public but still it's possible to find all the forgotten forgotten stuff in in git so don't worry don't panic don't uh, get up your, your backups it's it's always there Few few ideas uh, how to work with uh, Git. So the most important thing is that uh, always think from the other side, out of the, your own box. This is the the place where you meet other people. So if you are used to commit everything, like commit whole desktop, because this is just backup. It's not. There are other people who, who work on this, and very often you you, you can uh, damage so somebody's work. Like my friend commit uh, committed uh, something and, and he moved files, and it took me like two or three hours to to, to sort this this issue because I had my changes on my branch and suddenly I I, I got problems and I actually ended up with doing new commands, uh, new, new commits, because it was difficult to solve. And he was very sorry about that. 
later, but yeah, still think that, that whatever you do in, in the gate influences the other people. Uh, so whenever you commit your messages, I, I don't remember, I, I, I haven't looked at, at, at your uh, gate repository, but I, I remember lots of people committing change code, dot, space, something like this. And if you, if you look uh, at, at the history of a file with these messages, it's garbage. Doesn't tell me anything. And very often I, I, I get to a situation when I look some change, I say, okay, why this, this thing happened? And the, the, the commit message tells me nothing. Uh, this is the situation when, when I use blame and go to the person and I'm very vocal and I use dirty words. So uh, keep in mind that the, the, the history of the messages is, is something what is public and is actually telling me the history of the file or of the project. So this is something what people usually are reading and I'm doing it very often. Okay, so let's look at something. Uh, so if you look, if you look at, at this, do you do, do, do see the letters? Are, are they big enough? Not quite small. Yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So you see that I don't say I'm always perfect, but I'm, I'm trying to, to, to say uh, what's there. If it doesn't, if it's not changing functionality, I sometimes use these these small things it's just saying um, actually i didn't do anything important you know update copyrights change syntax uh for me this is example of not very good uh message what does it tell tell me what changed uh but usually it, it should say me the, 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 uh, what's, what was going on in the project. I use very often in the, uh, in the uh, file as well. So, so I am trying to, to, to see what, what was changed, what Andro did, did here. I'm, I'm re reviewing it quite, quite, uh, that's good. So, uh, so he didn't change anything important here, and so on. So, so this is something I'm watching very, very often. Yeah, uh, usual uh, usual way is that uh, the, the the commit number contains uh, the ticket number from Jira or whatever. This is good practice because. It, for, for, for example, we have um, integration between uh, Jira and GitHub. So in, uh, in our Jira, we can uh, click from the ticket to uh, pull requests. If the pull request contains, contains the name of the, the identification of the, the, um, of the ticket, it, it it makes the the link so it's very convenient for us to to, to see what what pull requests are related to to each to each uh, ticket but the problem is when uh, people start uh, putting names of the pull requests or uh, command um, comments in, in git with the uh, uh, they, they, they put the, the title of the of the Jira ticket, but the Jira ticket usually says uh, loading of this module doesn't work. And if you if you create commit message and pull request with this name, tells me absolutely nothing. What what was changed? So so you have history of a file full of this didn't work. That didn't work. This this was broken. It showed wrong label, and you have no clue what what was really happening. So keep in mind that the ticket title uh, is description what's wrong, 
but the commit message should always contain what was changed. Not, not what was wrong, but what, what you changed. If it is something, I don't know, I, I, I fixed new pointer exception. Good idea, by the way, and I didn't write it here, is to write in the first line the very basic, uh, very basic description, what you changed. But you have multiple lines like this. Uh, so where you can you can describe better uh, what was changing. If I remember correctly, in uh, Linux core, they they used to put whole documentation here, so it it accompanies the the, the changes, and everybody can can read it. This is not very good good example. I'll try something mine. Yeah, you, you see, this is the the the, the first line which appears here and this is the this is the uh, more verbose explanation of what's going on keep in mind that this shows in the in the overviews so if you put multiple lines uh, like this this is useless because only the first line is displayed so if you put I, I, I made three changes and I make three lines. Only the first one is displayed. So, so, so the correct, correct uh, format is this: line uh, with description, empty line, and details. So, if you create, uh, make three changes, which is wrong, uh, you need to move them all of them to the first line and put details later. So, actually, this is something what just sometimes people see but not always. Okay. And so, so keep in mind the the it's very important. The comment message must, must be what you change. And by the way, return back, uh, commit always from graphics to see what you changed. So you can write it correctly. Uh, because if, if you if you commit from command line, you, you tend to say, okay, commit everything, but you don't review it, and very often people forget some some uh, unrelated changes. That's good. Okay. And, uh, examples of, of uh, messages which I personally love, and sometimes I go to these people and ask them, what do you think? These messages tell me fixed a bunch of sonar cube issues. Sounds like I fixed some some security issues. Was they were why it happened? I have no clue. The same update Jenkins file. So 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 what 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 does it mean? Did did you fix some issue or improve or or created a new? new uh, feature what so uh, this is something you, you you need to think about it and frankly i'm not always uh, the best in my messages sometimes i'm thinking what what i i wrote myself it happened nobody's perfect good and few few more words if you are going to move files do some some bigger refactoring Please be very careful. If there are people who cooperate with you on the same uh, same files, it's very hard for them to to follow your rules. They are not able to rebase on top of your your changes. They they, they will need to rework the, their history. If if they they create a, a feature branch like 10, 20, 20 commits, maybe you, you broke their first commit and they will need to rework every of the 20, 20 uh, commits. By the way, if there is somebody who knows how, how to how to handle this better, would be happy to share this. I never found a good way how to how to handle this, this situation. Well, single responsibility is, is, is great programming principle and it's valid for, for Git commits as well. So. If you make a commit, only commit one feature, one change, one bug fix. 
never married several of them. It happened to myself like half a year ago. I was, I was my a year ago. I was uh, fixing some some technology test, and the guy said, "Hey, you know, you you, you did this, and also you did that. We are going to accept it, but be aware that I don't agree with the other change. But we are in a hurry, so so we have to to accept it both. So he he really didn't like it. So my my big fault." Uh, a great example, uh, and uh, unfortunately, I was not able, I, otherwise I, I would put it here. Uh, I, I remember that guy was, was committing something like 300 reformatted files. Some of them were changing functionality, like two of, there were two changes. And the guy who was about to, to review the, the, the pull request said, are you crazy? Who who do you think is able to to review three hundred files and find the the two ones which you changed? That guy, the 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 the, the, the committer said, "I don't have time. I don't care." Personally, in my team, that guy would be half of the of the company because this is not acceptable. You cannot make life of the others. Uh, that difficult, so you don't care. So yeah, for, for me, I was able to to commit those two files in one commit and three hundred other files in other commit. So that, that guy could spend ten minutes reviewing the change and then just go through through the formatting, uh, ignoring uh, ignoring spaces. So so it will be just a few files and say okay, that's that's obvious. So. The whole review can can take ten minutes. If this is one one big commit, this careless, the review can take four hours just trying to find what the two files were changed, and where is the the actual change? It is by my side. This is totally unacceptable behavior, and this is the way how to make life of the others very difficult and say very difficult for you as well at some point if, if nobody will want to, to approve your change. So keep in mind, one commit should contain one thing. And when you create pull request, it should be again, preferably one, one thing. And sometimes the question is, people are, are often considering it as a, as a backup. So if you are leaving for, sometimes I do it even at the end of the day, I, I, I feel better if my changes of the whole day working is, is uh, they, are, they are stored somewhere on the server. So I'm doing it. Uh, uh, if I'm leaving for, for vacation, definitely I, I need to put all my work uh, somewhere. So somebody else in the, in the case it's necessary, they can continue on my work. So I'm putting, I always mark this, uh, this commit with uh, VIP work in progress. Maybe I will be able to find it. Okay. okay that's not gonna change. Okay, so maybe here. Okay, I'm leaving this for something else. Let's see. This is how I sometimes uh, sometimes save things. <clears throat> VIP and uh, the description, what's going on. You'll see. This is something, yeah. I started and... Uh, don't don't uh, try the, the build on this this uh, commit. It's uh, it's uh, 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 it it may be somewhat broken. So so this is good, but only do this in your separate branch. If you will do it on the master, you will break build and you will break the others' work. In, in, in case, in case uh, they, they pull your change and 
they are not able to do their work. That's horrible behavior. Then the, I heard about a company who had a, a big cowboy pink hat and whoever broke the belt, he, he, he was forced to, 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 to have it whole day. So uh, this is wrong behavior. So if you need, need uh, to, to back up your, your comment work, create your own branch, push it to your own branch and never share it with, with the others. <coughs> it's, it's awful. Well, thank you. The same what's, what's, uh, for, uh, what's valid for the uh, commits and pull requests. Please name your branches so it makes some sense. Uh, because the, 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 the pull request creates a merge, which has a, a name. So if you compare these two, two, two commits, this says that uh, um, Alfonso uh, committed uh, merge this, this branch. Our creation of my temporal files. Wonderful. I have very good idea what was going on. Actually, it's, it's, it's recent. Gara recently uh, merged this. And frankly, I have no clue what's going on. I can go to, to our Jira and look, but if I will do it for every, every single merge, that's annoying. Second, you are not able to, to see it. So for you, this history item is completely uh, without any reason. If, if it contained like 10, 10 comments, you will have to go through 10 comments with uh, Alfonso's uh, merge makes my life very easier. So please give, give uh, the, the, the branches some meaningful names. And if if they they have the, the the identification of the issue, it's good as well. Oh, that's it. Uh, we, we wanted to to, to discuss the, the the feature branches. I started to to like them only in Git. In some version, I, I hated it, but uh, it's uh, it's uh, quite good. So so okay, I will. Uh, try to find this. I hope it's in fire. Yeah. So you see, this is si simple, simple pull request. Yeah, Alfonso based it on on a bit older version, so it's making that strange structure. But but basically, from this version, it is simple uh, kind of uh, feature branch, simple merge. And this is what what uh, GitHub is doing. So again, nicely visible, wonderful. I like. It. Uh, but what it end up is is this this thing uh, that it's sometimes difficult to find the history of of something. Uh, the other way is that you can. Try rebase. Uh, do you know what rebase is? is? Is here anybody who doesn't know what's rebase? Yeah, actually, I never use it. I always use merge. So maybe if you can remind, it would, would be nice. Okay. You did use it. You did use it max many times. Oh, yeah, you did. You did it for me. <laughs> it's different. I'm usually forcing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so imagine I have this this commit. And I want to, to, to merge it. So, okay, okay, let's, let's make it more, more stupid this way. I want to, 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 to have this change. So some bot created, created this for me and I said, that's good. I will merge it. So I can go to GitHub and say merge. What, we did, what it will create is a link from this commit to this commit and from this commit up to master. So there, there will become a long line, a long parallel line, completely useless. So if you look at this, you see long lines from long time in the history. Somebody based his change on, on some old commit. It matched because there was no conflict, but this makes the history awful. 
So what you can do is take this change. Actually, let's try it. Uh, so I have this and I want to move it on top of master. So what I need to do is to rebase this commit on top of uh, this. So I will. OK, so that is possible to do it in command line. I will try it, but I cannot say that I remember how to do it from command line. OK. Do, do, do remember the. <laughs> on to okay uh, one of those things which i never do from command line i do it from netbeans always so you see this is the situation and refresh and this come on <laughs> okay, it seems that mm, interesting. It se seems that uh, the uh, change how is it possible? Why it's not? Do you see the reason why, why it didn't? Okay, I'll, I'll do it this way. Okay, so so basically it should do this. I, I, as I said, I, I don't remember it from, from command line. So it takes this commit and base it on top of, of, uh, of another branch. Ba basically, this is how, how the things in, uh, in Jenkins should work. That they have ruled that if if we accept your change, you need to rebase your changes on top of master, squeeze them, which means to to put several uh, commits into one, and create a new commit with your change, and we are done. So that's that's what their changes are doing. Even if this was was two commits in the beginning before he he was allowed to, to to merge it it's it's here and if you merge this into master it will it will be uh, fast forward and you get this this nice history so this is this is rebase and you can rebase whole branch you can rebase take take this thing and rebase it uh, uh rebase it somewhere else and basically it is done it is done in the in the uh, in the feature branches if, if you see here uh, you you have uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. this is uh, this these are strange uh, merges okay this is you, you, you know, the, if, if the guy would so, so somebody better. Yeah, here. Uh, Alfonso based this this uh, on uh, this uh, commit, but in the master there was already this commit, so it was not possible. To, to do the fast forward. So if Alfonso would do the rebase on top of this commit and then do the, the, the normal merge, not not uh, not GitHub, it would end up in, in linear history. That's the that's the uh, uh, rebase. And what I did here uh, is cherry pick and it is basically the same just with one with one commit. So you, you, this is what um, 
what, what people in uh, in uh, Linux are sometimes doing that they are cherry picking uh, some commits from from other branches and just this way they they they, they pull the the changes between projects. So this is this is the base. So if you if you all cooperate in the same repository and before you will merge your changes, you will do the rebase on top of master, you can have this history. That that linear history. I can tell you it's way better. Uh, one of the things what I never tried, but but I know that that uh, uh, Git is is able is to find which uh, commit made some issue. Some you are you you know that that here the, the build is broken. Here it was okay. So you say Git from this commit to that commit. Uh, I have this command, please, where it, it failed. And what Git does is it, it helps the interval, tries it. If it's working, it will find in this, this part. If it's not working, it finds it uh, continues in, in this part. It's, and automatically finds the commit which, which was broken. Wonderful. I never tried it manually. Uh, I never tried it automatically, but I, I did this, of course, uh, uh, sometimes uh, manually just picking some commits, making builds, verifying if if uh, it is still working or not and, and going further. In this linear history, it's fun. In this history, it's nightmare. Because you, you don't know which branches are these. That, that's what it is. With this linear history, it's much better. Yeah. Uh, the squash is just optional, but sometimes it's good. So binary search is something I, I, I found very useful. So that's short-term branches. You asked for, for the long-term branches. This is a problem because, because the, the source, source is divergent, you have problem to keep, keep them synchronized. So what we do very often is that we regularly merge uh, master branch uh, to the to the uh, feature branch uh, it happens to us that when we start a new uh, version of uh, Pyra, like we started uh, we, 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 we are supporting say Pyra 5 and we started 6 so Every fix we did in Pyra 5, we have to do the same also in, in 6. But in the beginning, there was wild development in Pyra 6. So nobody did it. And the Pyra 6 at the time was broken. So it was difficult to, to, to merge these things. So we were developing them, them separately. And after some time, say after a month, somebody sat and, and uh, merged the the old version to the to the new version so we somehow keep keep them them uh, in sync it's not very nice work sometimes it's it's very very difficult but uh, yeah necessary so if you see the the merge branch master into para 5 and i go somewhere and i will try to find you will see that there are multiple multiple uh, merges to the to the uh, para five so we are trying to keep these uh, these two branches somewhat in sync yeah crazy uh, the, the, the diagram but yeah, you see that I have a really, really plenty. So that's it. So this is the, the only way we, we have found as a solution to, to long-term feature branches. It's difficult. Try to, to omit it at all. Uh, good idea is to split the, the big feature into smaller features. Uh, for example, uh, it, uh, I, I, I suggest you to uh, sometimes look at the kernel news, Linux kernel news, because they are they are showing uh, they are uh, 
uh, facing very difficult problems, and this is one of them. Uh, they, they always say, we, we know that we have, you, you have big modules and it's very difficult to, uh, for you to, uh, to keep them synchronized with the, the, the current, current uh, kernel. So we suggest you open source it. And whenever somebody is doing some, some refactoring, it will be part of the refactoring. Otherwise, you have a problem. If you want to, to merge bigger things, split them into smaller, we can accept them part by part, part by part. And uh, then, then it's, uh, it's the way how not to have big uh, feature branches. Like uh, what we did, for example, we tried to, to develop bigger, big fun functionality. And what we did was that we split it into pieces and the pieces were not accept, uh, not uh, accessible by the end users, but using some some commands, it was possible to try them. So we were able to demo something, and at the same time, the the main product wasn't broken. So this is, and we would need to, to discuss the, uh, the 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 exact uh, situation, what what uh, problem you have. But basically, the, these two things. Merge master branch and split split the big feature and push it into into master by part part. Well, another question was sub modules. <coughs> Sounds great. And by my side, it's nightmare. This is completely new set of of commands which you, you have to learn. Uh, by the way, we are using it. And personally, I hate it. We, we have we have uh, TCK runner, and some of the some of the uh, parts of it just point to to some other to some other repositories. Sounds good. I can tell you whenever I I'm working on this, it's always nightmare. I, I was working on this like a month, maybe two. And I was always crazy how to point this 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 branch. Because of course we, we were depending on the on the master branch. Then I realized that the guys in this project broke the build. So our build started to fail. So I said, okay, so we need to base it on some other branch, some somewhat somewhat uh, stable. So it looks like a good idea. You will have to learn the commands. And if you have a newcomer or students, I think they will have they will have hard time. So what I would suggest is th this is the list of products. Uh, you, you need uh, projects you need to compile first. It's better. If, if you have uh, Nexus, you can you can have the, the the build modules in in Nexus, and that's that's easy. Actually, we we, we have we actually yeah the way how we do it is that we have something called patch sources, uh, it's not here repositories patched source HK two. This is our fork of HK2, and we have our own versions, patched, patched version. So this is independent project, and in our Nexus, there is version of this, this uh, compiled module. So nobody needs to go to all the patch sources uh, projects and compile, compile them themselves. They just use the Maven dependency, and that's all. Uh, let's let's talk about my my, my favorite uh, favorite tricks and I, I will need your, your feedback here. If if you know it, tell me we know it and, and let's go further. If not, we can we can look at it uh, closer. Okay, so uh, the, the the first nice trick is is stash. You are working on something 
and uh, you get some some other urgent task your boss comes to you and says i need you to fix this issue so you have you are in the middle of work and you don't want you don't want to uh, you don't want to uh, commit this this unfinished work so what you can do is to just stash it which is actually commit but it uh, is a stack of commits with uh, with your un unfinished work so it it makes a temporary commit puts it into git you can you can uh, check out some other branch do your work and then you can you can unstash unstash this it has uh, usually nice support in in id very nice feature uh, second do we, know, do we know how it uh, differs from uh, shelf in in intellij Uh, what do you mean how it differs from shell uh shelf uh idea has a uh, yeah it's it's it, it's shelf. it's similar it is similar i don't remember the 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 difference uh, netbeans have both and i don't remember exactly what yeah, is i'm looking at uh, stack overflow now and they say that shelf is a is a feature which has nothing to do with git or any uh source management it's just a feature of, of the IDE. Okay, so IDE is, is, is doing it itself instead of instead of Git. Uh, good, so, so I, I would prefer, prefer Stash because I have much better uh, trust. I, I trust the Git much more than anything else. So yeah, if, if you want to, 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 to depend on, on uh, IDE features, that's nice. Uh, at some moment, uh, you, you will very probably realize that, that you you want to work with some other tools than than the the IDE uh, support with uh, with the branches, and then it's it's better to to use uh, uh, to, to 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 stash because it's visible in uh, in the in the repository. I personally very often use the Git K uh, and and sometimes uh, so, so some other tools. Uh, but Git mostly, and the stash is, is, is visible here. So I think it's safer. Thank you. Good. Uh, if you want to, to, to show how to work with it, it's, you can. Uh, Hunk is, is very, very important feature. Uh, you probably know that I, I, I suppose you, it, it happened to you that you work on something and then you find some other error and other error and you fix all of them. <clears throat> and then you have you keep in mind that at least one commit should uh, be only about one fix. So you start fi uh, committing, committing files and uh, you realize that you, you have one file with, uh, with several fixes. So we would like to commit only parts of the file. So, and Git is, is solving it. First, I, I saw it from command line, and then I realized that uh, uh, IDE supports it. Uh, IDE supports it uh, quite well. And for command line, I am using Git Cola. I, I don't do this very often, but sometimes it's, it's necessary. So I use Git Cola which allows me to pick pick the lines I, I am interested in and they, they are staged and they, the commit is done from, from these, uh, these parts. Very useful feature. And my very favorite uh, favorite application is Git, Git K, dash dash all, which shows all the branches. For me, it's the, the best tool which shows exactly what, what's happening in the in the uh, uh, in the repository, if you this is uh, the concurrent co co concurro project, so let's let's look. Bum, bum, bum. So if if you look at the the concurro and we look at the history. It tells us this story, but in fact, it looks like this. 
So completely different, different story. So personally, I totally don't trust GitHub, what it says, because I have no clue how, how they are sorting this stuff. Never ever trust uh, the history in in uh, uh, in GitHub. If you have comments, please shout immediately so you don't need to wait. So the first, it's great overview. Second, if I need to move move uh, branches. It's very easy. If I if I need to create a, 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 a new branch, like I, I I want to, I realize that there is some 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 issue. I very quickly can can create branches. Check it out. This is good. Let's try this one. Uh, creating branch okay let's let's call it the the gateway but check out this branch recompile do what I, I and I I know that the issue is, is somewhere here so let's let's start again from from this okay let's rename it so this is the good one and let's let's uh, put it here reset then hard reset and i still see what i'm doing and it's very easy if if i if i realize that there is some some other fix which i i want to uh, borrow from from here i can just do uh cherry pick this commit bank i have it so that's great great thing i i, I love it the work with it is is wonderful and if if I decided it wasn't a good way, so I will reset it back. You see, this this commit is hanging. So uh, next time I will refresh, it will disappear. Do you remember uh, what what happens with it? Is it deleted or does it stay in Git? My question to you, try to answer. Stop it, question, quick answer. Uh, I think it stays in Git somehow, or... Exactly. It's possible to get to it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. If it is in Git, once it is in Git, it stays in Git. So it is still there, although invisible. If you need to get to it, you can still display it. You need to learn some advanced Git Git tasks. Okay, so you see, I will refresh. Okay, I'll do it here. Uh, bam, reload. It's gone. So it is still there, but invisible because it the, the, there is no branch uh, pointing to, to to this commit. So you see, it's very very nice to to to, to work with it. Uh, of course, easy to see the changes. If I'm interested, uh, which uh, which commits uh, involved this file, you see the, the bold lines. I I know where, where this one changed, including different branches. So if you if you rely on your IDE and try to find where, where this was changes, you don't get the the full uh, full answer because if you are here, for example, in your history. Okay, say so if you are here in your history, this commit will not appear in your history because it's it's different branch. So you don't see that the, the complete picture. With Git K, I have complete picture and I can do uh, and I can see what's going on. As as I told you, my my favorite thing what happened to us we 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 had. Uh, 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 is it called? Uh, it's a revert this commit. We, we, we had a revert of a commit which wasn't part of this history. Wonderful. So, uh, and I thanks to Git K, I was the only one who saw it, who saw that that the, the Git is that the commit is is not. 
part of this this story. So I, I was talking about uh, moving branches, cherry ping, and very nice thing which I love is that you can see the the changes inside uh, the comment, obviously, but you can also see changes between couple of commits this way. So you, I click this and click uh, select it to this. And here I see the changes between several branches, several commits from commit to commit. Wonderful. Easy peasy. So that's, that's another feature which I love. And I, I use it quite often. Um, Yeah, and sometimes I also do uh, writing commits to file uh, when when I am trying to to move move some commits between between uh, repositories. Although that's this is a bit tricky part. Uh, sometimes I, I have uh, multiple multiple uh, remotes and I, I cherry pick uh, between them, but that's. The, the, the trees are big, so it's not always very, very easy to, uh, to see. Uh, the good thing is that it's very easy if, if you have if you have the the commit ID, you can put it here, go to and you are on, on the commit. So if you have any any interesting uh, commit. Uh -huh. I am interested in this commit. Okay, what does it mean? Upgrade syntax to to Java 17. I copy the commit. Go to history. Bam. Go to this is this commit. Uh, this change. Nice feature, by the way. Good. So. Uh, that's about uh, Git K, which I suggest, unless you have really much better tool. So far, I haven't seen better tool to, to, to see, uh, to, to work with history and, and see the, 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 the history graph. Good. So that's about my tricks. If you want, we, we, we can we can try try each of them, uh, say, if you say we are interested in how to work with hunks, we can we can try to practice it. Quickly, quickly go to, to the history. <coughs> As you saw, I'm, I'm always in the tree. Usually I have several Git case and uh, because I, we, were, we are working on several projects and, <coughs> and I'm looking at the, the histories of what, what happened there. Uh, so that's uh, that's uh, my git k and very often I use uh, the annotate. I, I hope I have not been running on this somewhere. Good. So, normal normal uh, file as, as we expect. History, it's obvious uh, comparing to to either either previous or, or to, to, to current. So so how, how it changed from, from some some time. What I use usually very often is uh, blame. <clears throat> if I if I look at some some uh, something smelly okay let's check out the latest version uh come on <laughs> okay it didn't like too many sleeps and things tend to misbehave when <laughs> when presenting okay so uh I'm I'm doing the, the the git blame very often to see uh, why the change was done and uh, to see the context of the change 
and sometimes also who did it uh, simply uh, this gives me some some material to to, to ask that, that person why, why this this happened and usually this is the best way how to understand the code simply ask the, the author what the heck was doing what the heck was he was thinking he is doing I just wanted to see some fix me. Okay, so you see this smells. Okay, who did it? No, it was me. And what happens? Aha, uh -huh. uh, we will not, not see this one because this one was copied from another project. Okay. Okay, this one. This is better. So let's see who did it. Actually, it was me because I edited the, 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 the comment. So this doesn't help. But what I can do is to uh show annotation for previous and i see that it was like forever this is the initial commit from from oracle so i cannot ask anybody so i need to ask the the colleagues who are experiencing this 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 project but you see that that i can very quickly go go to a uh go, go, go to the uh, things uh, which happen. You see Arian's work. So if I'm interested, how it looked at the time he was working on it, annotation for this, and I, I, I get the I get the source at the time he, he, he did it, or if I'm interested, of course, in the, the uh, changes, the whole commit, I can, I can see it. Arian's favorite uh, okay this, this is this is good commit saying just just uh, reformatting on something which uh, what, what shouldn't change the behavior this guy usually has, has tendency to, to uh, uh, fix something and at the same moment reformat 100 files. But this, this commit is fine. So you see, this is the, the way how, how I'm working with the, the history uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in ID. And the, 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 the blame is sometimes very useful. Good. Uh -huh. So the annotation blame is is important. If if you want, I, uh, we can discuss uh, the way how to how to commit. Uh, I realize that lots of people are committing from command line, rarely looking at the the diff they are really committing. And uh, I think it's it's totally wrong. We should see what we are committing, re review every single change. So we exactly know what, what we are putting into Git and that it is only one change. Mm -hmm. So I see the, the, the difference thing, difference views. Uh, yeah. This is, as you, I hope you understand, it's just a joke because we don't blame anybody. Good, working with, with multiple multiple projects and I uh, I have answer for your questions at the end. So, so this is something, something different. Uh, the way how we work on GitHub is that we have a master repository and we actually don't have uh, the rights to write into it. 
some people some of us do but but we don't do it anyway so what we do we are doing uh, pull requests always so if i look uh, at the uh this is the the, the the same so this is the this is the, the the main main project and if you look at the pull requests they are uh, especially the closed one you will see that they are always from somebody's own repository to the main repository from the clones to the to the main repository so i have my clone of this of course my, my forks the concurrency arises the old name and this is my clone so so if i if i uh clone this repository i work only with this uh github has the has the uh, check so so if i commit something into into my repository it displays here that i can do the pull requests and prepares everything for me i uh can uh and it's it's automatic the issue is that there is some further development and i would need to go back to my my uh, repository and do the sync work and update branches and uh, yeah that works nice for for the main branch or master the issue is if i have uh, several branches and there are several other branches on the main uh, class i i don't have a, a, a simple way how to how to uh, bring these branches into my my fork so what i'm doing myself and i think it's much simpler at least for me is that i have several uh several branches uh in my in my repository several uh, remotes it, remote. so you see this is my origin to the para i always add the upstream to the to the main to the main uh, repository and i have also several uh, repositories of my colleagues so if they if they publish something in their branch i can i can simply simply fetch it from them and their their changes and branches uh, are are uh, now part of my my repository as well and i can collaborate with them and i can actually push into their repositories if if i'm collaborator in this in this repository so this is the way how i'm working this is very similar how we we do it in uh, in er but you see i'm i'm doing it in much much more massive way and uh, yeah so, so this is something So now I should have, should see something. Ah, Patrick didn't update it recently. Okay, so maybe, maybe from upstream. I didn't work on Pyra recently on this machine. So you see that, that the master moved a bit. This is the, the upstream. So this is the way how I'm working with uh, with multiple uh, with uh, the multiple clones of uh, of the, the the main repository. And uh, if you want to to work on your branch with several other people, so you need uh, to add the collaborators in the. Uh, in uh, in the git uh, repository um, like I, I have this uh, this repository which we use for coding the jaws so everybody is pushing pushing here 
and settings uh, collaborators and you see everybody's here you 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 can add the people put your name here so add them and they they need to accept it and once they accept it they can collaborate on this on this uh, uh, with you on this project good and fixing history uh amend is genius feature i suppose uh, it's your case as well that that you commit everything you are happy you you, you press the 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 the, the uh, commit button and then you realize that you forgot something or you go through the rest of the features and you 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 find one more file which should be part of the previous commit so what you can easily do is uh amend uh, this this uh, this uh, commit so let's say change something uh review the change Interesting. This file. This is the change, and I say commit. And here I have the the, the, the option append. Uh, amend the last comment. So the last comment is being replaced. Which I will not do. So I, I use amend very often. Uh, iterative rebase is something. I started to laugh. I've learned it again from, from command line and then, then I found uh, that uh, Git Cola has uh, interesting uh, interesting uh, uh, UI for it, which basically is not that complex or the, 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 the change is not, not very big, but uh, it's, it's cool. So do, do, do you know what, what Rebase is? We talked about it last time. Should I explain it again? No, I don't think it's necessary. Just it's much good. Good. Yeah, I think it's okay. I agree. Uh huh. Good. Uh, and the discussion about if if uh, the the history should be fixed or not. My 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 view on, on this is, I need to have. Uh, steps which lead to a feature not not a backup of, of my of my history in in uh, in ide so for me it's imp more important to to have do this to achieve this feature do these these things and the commit should should make sense and if preferably they shouldn't break build and shouldn't introduce other other uh, issues so so if i can fix them somehow easily so, so they 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 progress in in a better way than the rebase makes uh, nice sense and then uh, for for cooperators it's much easier to uh, to understand what's going on and uh, and understand the uh, understand uh, what I did. I, uh, it, sometimes it happens that that you show somebody what you you did, you show him the comment, and he says. This is wrong. I will say yes, yes, but I fix it. You know, eight commits later, it's better to to, to fix it. Uh, 